Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Doug. I'm going to show you the Lasso tool and Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now the first thing that you want to know is how to get there quicker and the shortcut is L. L will bring up this, um, will highlight this which allows you to make selections with the Lasso tool. The Lasso tool makes fine selections so if you're trying to cut something out of a picture this would be perfect for fine edges on like shirts or people and all that stuff. So uh, I use the lasso tool a lot and I actually have a video in the description where you can learn how to design a room with it. So enough with the talk. So if you click L, it goes to the lasso tool. If you right click it, then there's three different ones inside of that tool or you can click and hold, which opens these as well. And on the right side, you see that the command is L on the right. So if you forget it, just click over that and highlight it and it shows L on the side. Now there's three different ones. I might get the second one wrong, but I'm reading it how it is. How it, yeah, so how it is, so you can just tell me uh, in the comments, so there's lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, and magnetic. The first one, what you can do with this is you click and hold and you make your own selections. So you can draw out whatever you want. And then uh, there's a few things that you can do with that. You can hit V, which is the move tool, and you can move this out. And so you see red underneath it, which is uh, my layer right here has red on it. So it just shows what's underneath it. So it's like cutting it off the picture. The next thing that you can do is if you're still on your lasso tool while you make the selection, you right click it and click on fill. And then you have an options for foreground color or background color, which is over here. So the foreground color is going to be red because that's on top over here. And so color, foreground, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to decide, you know what, I'm going to just choose color. And you can actually put it to whatever you want. So here's green. And then, you know, it fills in with green. Okay. Now another thing that you can do with this tool is uh, so this feather up here, you can change it to about 50 or 60, let's just do 65. Um, we're going to make the selection with a 65 feather. So I'm going to draw around what I want. And then as you can see, it rounded it out because it's going to feather it out, which means it's going to blend into the background. So we're going to right click it, fill, click OK. And then as you can see, it's not a solid color, it's feathered out. So Command Z to go back, Command D to deselect. Now we're gonna go to the second one and I don't wanna read it again because I don't wanna be wrong twice about the same tool name. So we're gonna click on that. And this one is for fine edges. Uh, it does straight lines and what you do is you click and once you let go, it just follows along and then you go to the next thing. So you can just you know, go around this perfectly and cut it out and then you know, so forth. Now let's say that you want to add more to it like you messed up. All you have to do is hold shift and there's a plus sign that goes right next to the cursor and you can just draw whatever else you want to add to it and then you just hit enter or you just let go and it you know makes the selection bigger. So command uh, D to deselect that. And the last one is the magnetic tool. This tool I you know I don't use it that much because it messes up that there's a lot of colors in the background it gets confused. And what you do is you just click and then you just you know drag it along and it attaches to wherever it feels it needs to go and see with this it's working perfectly fine because it's white on black and so it's able to determine whether or not um, you should be selecting the white or the black now if I was to go out here like this it still does the same thing so you have to be really close to the edges that you're doing it um, and you can click if you want to add different points so let it go through right here and so I didn't take my time so that's that oh and the feathers still on so I'm going to take that feather off and I'm going to redo that just to show you real quick. Let's see, boop, 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 And it's really bad because I, you know, was in a hurry to do it. And so you can do the same thing. You can hit V and you can move that away. Um, you can go back to the lasso by clicking L. You can right click and go to fill. And then you can click OK and it fills in green because I decided to use the color green. So Command Z to go back, Command D, D to deselect. Um, and that's about it with the lasso tool. So the command or shortcut is L. There's three different ones that you can use. So if you have to watch this video over again to relearn them, go right on ahead. I have a video in the description where I design a bedroom using the lasso tool. So that's pretty handy. And I have a lot of beginner tutorials in the playlist in uh, the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Rate this video, leave some feedback, and I hope you learned something today. See you later.